when Chaucer writes his tale collection, he gathers together a really kind of motley crew of people. There is the, the highest class person is a knight, at the low end, there is a, a plowman. In between, there's a very mixed group. So you have, for instance, you have a merchant, you have a lawyer, you have a sailor, lots of different kinds of people. And the Canterbury Tales begins with a tale told by the most authoritative person. The knight tells the first tale. And then the innkeeper, who's in charge at this point, says, OK, well, the, 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 the person of highest secular status told the first tale. The next one should be told by the person of highest religious status, the monk. And at this point, the miller, who's a low class, vulgar, drunk man, interrupts and says, no, I'm, I'm going to tell a tale now. I've had a few dreams. I've got a great tale to tell. Everyone listen to me. And people go, oh, you're drunk, really? And he goes, yeah, yeah. And they go, oh, OK, then, OK, you tell your tale. And then the tale that he tells is absolutely brilliant, packed with imagery, beautifully told, hilarious, very rude, parodies and mocks the knight's tale, which has just preceded it. And in a sense, it is actually the same story as the knight's, the knight's tale, but in a different genre from a different perspective. And after this point, we never go back to hierarchical tale telling. The group takes on its own energy. Different people tell tales. People say, say oh, I'm going to tell a tale. I'm going to rebut what you just said. I think it's my turn. Sometimes the host says, will you tell a tale? And someone says yes or no. And so we move on into this organic world of tale telling where everyone you know, asserts their right to have their voice heard. This is a really, really important moment in literature because Chaucer, I think, is saying to us, look, you don't have to like all the stories, but we need to be exposed to lots of different points of view, lots of different perspectives. And in particular, not just listen to the voice of authority. You know, all the people in authority are going to have similar perspectives. Let's actually hear what different kinds of people have to say and then make our own judgments. We may not agree with them, but we should listen to lots of different perspectives.